Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we're testing every single mask on Amazon. Today, looking at some KF94s for kids. Been very impressed so far. Let's try all the different cameras and then let's open this guy up and uh, put it in the clamper. That's very, very tightly wound right there. Okay, this girl's freaking me out a little bit. It looks like an Amber Alert situation. Someone should probably call somebody. I'm just saying. Uh, makes me a little nervous. Poor girl. What's going on there? The parent was probably, it's probably, you know, the Korean version of me running a mask factory being like, just Emma, stay still. We're just going to take a picture. Okay, dad. My poor kids. My poor kids. I had them at the beginning of the pandemic making masks, doing all sorts of stuff that don't technically violate child labor laws. If you own the company, thank you, Farm Lobby. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We're doing the N95 test here on KF94 masks, which means it should come in at about 94% to meet the standard. This is the smallest mask I think I put in the machine. I barely was able to fit it. I don't know if you saw that there. Let's take a look at this. Uh, four layers, KF94, toddler mask, extra small for toddler to little kid use. So Koreans make great masks. Uh, and one of the things I've noticed, because China has been trying to jump on their listings, um, is that uh, the Chinese fakes will not come in these individual bags. So that's kind of one quick way to figure out if something is a fake. I've even seen uh, the packaging being all Korean. And then when you open it up, it has a Chinese uh, certificate. Ooh, this is cool, this is like, I haven't seen this before. It's these extra welds. It's gonna make it hopefully super strong. No, no, this is the least strong mask we've had for a kid's mask. Aww. I just, anytime I'm, I like something, it just disappoints me. Must be something to do with my childhood. Sorry, mom, if you're watching. Just kidding, of course. This thing is so small. Oh my gosh. I'm going to call this smell a uh, recently cleaned kitchen counter. And I'm wondering if, yeah, ear loops on this are bust. Granted, I have a much smaller face than, uh, or much bigger face than this little girl, but still. All right, switch on over. I missed the uh, airflow on that, but 99.667 on insanely high for such a little mask. What was the breathability? Do you see it? 113 on the breathability. Why are the ear loops bad? Why? That's a record for sure. If I have a really small kid, I might be considering this. What is the name of this brand? The Flexmon. That's their Flexmon is the, is the breathability. That breathability is insane. You know, most masks are going to be good at 150 pascals using this test. They were at 113. That is beautiful. Good job, Flexmon. Uh, please, someone call uh, to help this little girl. I'm worried. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next test.